What's going on, fifth grade? This is your teacher, Mr. Julie. Welcome to day four. This is day four of reading. This is the last time you're going to see me make a video for this week on Red Kayak. And so, what I'm going to be doing is telling you what assignment you've got lined up for today as far as using that vocab and making the best of that vocab. It's one thing to know the definition of vocab, but in my opinion, the best way to learn this vocab is to actually use it actively within sentences. I thought a good way to generate some of those sentences would be for you to make a story. And you're going to find that is the assignment on a schoolology for that day, for this day. So, how can we use the new words we've learned this week in a story setting? You remember, those words were compressions, we've got grumbled, insistently, intentionally, minute, neutral, and normally. Now, how in the world can we make a story to use those words? Well, first off, my biggest advice is to be creative. These words may not really go together very easily, so you might have a story that looks a little goofy, and that's okay. It doesn't matter if it's a little goofy. I'm okay, kind of freaked out there, but oh well. So be creative. Second thing, be careful. A word like minute, I can already see the submissions in my head now. You guys are going to see the word minute and be like, well, I don't want to use it in the way that means small. I'd rather just use it meaning 60 seconds. No, that's not the vocab word for this week. Our vocab word was minute. So make sure that you're using the right definitions as you're writing that story. So be creative, be careful. But the big thing though, I'm gonna even write this in a different color just to stress how much this is important. Please have fun. These stories don't have to be real stories. They can be as creative as you want. You can maybe make a story of a spaceman going on an adventure or a guy or a knight trying to fight a dragon or anything that you can think of. As you'll see on the assignment though, please do not make your story about how there once was a man named Mr. Dooley who then taught us these seven words. I know that sounds kind of petty, it's happened. Do not write a story about me teaching you these words. That's too easy. So make sure when you write the story that I'm talking about to be careful, be creative, and of course, to have fun. So again, what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna have this word bank in front of you and you're gonna write a story, very straightforward. What I want to see in this story is just that you're using the words correctly. I'm not necessarily looking for you to use a word and then to define it. Mm -mm. I want you to use it in a story. This is supposed to be sort of a kind of a fun, how creative can you be, express yourself kind of assignment. But anyway, you're gonna have these word bank, you're gonna have this word bank. You only need to use each of these words once. You can use them more than once. And some are gonna be kind of easy, like normally. That's a word that we normally use. Just used it there. And a word like grumbled. That's an easy one to put in. You can just say that one of your characters is upset, that they got asked to do something, you have them grumble, you know, blah, blah, blah. But some of them might be a little trickier. Like, how in the world are you gonna have to put compressions into a story? So some of them are gonna be harder. I would think that the hardest one, or the two hardest ones on this list, would be, of course, compressions. And I would also think that the word insistently would be kind of hard to squeeze in, too. So those are your two kind of more challenging words. But this really, this is pretty much it. I just wanted to kind of give you a quick little run-through as to what you're gonna be doing for that assignment. Last bit of advice, relax, write a nice creative story using those seven words and you will be golden. This has been day four of reading. This has been Mr. Dooley and I hope you guys have a great day. See you in the next video.